Hi students, today we will discuss about LVDT that is Linear Variable Differential Transformer or Linear Variable Differential Transducer. It is used for the measurement of linear displacement that is LVDT is an instrument that converts linear motion or displacement into electrical signal. Moving on to the construction of LVDT, LVDT consists of a center core, one primary winding and two secondary windings. Input supply is connected across primary winding and output voltage is measured at secondary windings. Few conditions that are to be satisfied for the secondary winding and those are first condition, secondary winding 1 and Secondary winding 2 must be connected in series. Second condition, they must have equal number of turns. That is, the total number of turns in the primary winding 1 must be equal to total number of turns in the secondary winding 2. Third condition, both the secondary windings are connected opposite to each other. That is, one of the secondary winding wound in anti-clockwise direction and the other one must be connected in clockwise direction. Then only the net output voltage will be the difference in voltage between two secondary windings. If V1 is the voltage across secondary winding 1 and V2 is the voltage across secondary winding 2, then the net output voltage V0 is equal to V1 minus V2. The earlier diagram was a schematic of LVDT. This figure shows the actual assembly of an LVDT. Primary and two secondary coils are wound on a hollow cylindrical rod. The two secondary coils are connected in connected with each other in series opposition. The movable soft iron core is placed inside the hollow cylinder. The moving system whose displacement has to be measured is connected to this core. Depending upon the position of the core, the output voltage varies. Let's now understand how this LVDT works. When an AC supply is given to the primary winding, a variable magnetic field is produced. This interacts with the secondary coil and EMF is induced in two secondary coils, V1 and V2. Based on the position of the core, we can divide the whole working into three different cases. Case 1, core at center or null position. Initially, the core is placed in null position, that is, at the center. Equal EMF gets induced in both the secondary coils, that is, V1 is equal to V2. Due to this, the net EMF, V0, of two secondary coils becomes zero. We know that V0 is equal to V1 minus V2. In this case, V1 is equal to V2. Therefore, the output voltage V0 becomes 0. In case 2, move the core towards the right. We can see that flux linking with the coil S1 becomes greater than S2. As a result, EMF induced in the coil S1 is greater than EMF induced in coil S2. Therefore, V0 is equal to V1 minus V2 V1 greater than V2, so the net output voltage V0 is positive. In case 3, move the core towards the left. We can see that EMF induced in coil S2 is greater than EMF induced in coil S1. Therefore, V2 greater than V1, V0 is equal to V1 minus V2 is negative. By analyzing all the three cases, we can say that the LVDT uses the magnitude and polarity of output voltage to measure the displacement. So next is the classic 
characteristics of an LVDT. The x-axis shows curved displacement and y-axis shows the voltage. So in case 1, that is at null position, magnitude of voltage is 0. In case 2, curved towards right hand side, the magnitude is positive, uh, so the polarity of the voltage is positive. When it moves towards the left hand side, the polarity of voltage is negative. Thank you.